In this video, we'll learn how to use the Swatches panel in Illustrator. Swatches give us a powerful set of tools for quickly managing and controlling the colors in our vector graphics. I've got a file open from this week's demo files, and I've gone ahead and done a little bit more development to this composition. So I'm at the point where I want to start tweaking some of the colors. Let's bring up the Swatches panel, either by clicking Window Swatches from the menu bar, or clicking the Swatches icon. Our Swatches panel gives us a place to save and manage colors for the current file. So your Swatch panel might look different, and that's okay, because we can really easily add or edit our swatches. For example, I can make a new swatch just by clicking the New Swatch icon at the bottom of the panel. By default, this will pull in the active color for either the fill or the stroke, depending on what's in front. So that's why I'm getting this color here. So I can give the swatch a name, and I can set the color to either a process type or a spot color type. Process makes the most sense for the kinds of colors that we're dealing with in this unit. I have an option here for global, and we'll come back to that shortly, so I'll leave it unchecked for now. Then finally, I can set the actual color using different color models. So for example, maybe I'd like HSB instead of RGB. And I'll just go ahead and pick any color for now. Just like when you're working in the color picker, you may see an out of gamut warning. So I'll click that to give me something that's in gamut, then click OK. So now I can see this is added to my swatch library. And I can click and drag and move it different places depending on how I'd like to organize. I could use that swatch to replace colors in my file. And to do that, I just need to select one or more shapes, then activate either the stroke or the fill, depending on which color setting I'd like to change. Then I just click on the swatch, and you can see I've set the fill for my selection. In addition to making our own swatches, we can load in lists of pre-made swatches that are already built into Illustrator. Let's click on the Stack menu in the upper right corner of the Swatches panel, then click on Open Swatch Library. Notice there are lots of different sets of swatches that we could pull in to help color our artwork. Uh, I'll just try this Textiles one and see what that looks like. Notice I get a separate panel with just the textile swatches. And if I'd like to add those into the Swatches panel for my file, I could just single click on one of the folders to bring in the whole group, or I could click and drag individual colors and drop them into my Swatches panel. Back in the Swatches panel, we can organize our colors into groups, and these are basically folders of individual swatches. So I could click on the folder icon at the bottom of the Swatches panel to make a new color group and give it a name. Then I can click and drag existing swatches into that. I'll go ahead and click File Revert from the menu bar to reset my file. And what I'd like to do now is set up a group of swatches that will help me to really easily change and manage the colors in my file. So I'll click and drag in the document window to select everything on my artboard. I've already made sure that none of my layers are locked, so everything will be selected. Back in the Swatches panel, I'll click on the New Color Group icon. So I'll give this a name, I'll call this Palette 1, and under Create From, I want Selected Artwork, and that means I'm going to take all of the colors in my artwork that's selected right now and make them into swatches. I'd also like to check this Convert Process to Global, and that will make it easy for me to change the overall color palette of the file. And I want to make sure I uncheck Include Swatches for Tints, then just click OK. Notice I get a new folder in my Swatches panel with my three colors plus black and white, and each one has a little white corner at the bottom of the swatch icon. That's telling me that these are all global colors. Global swatches let us quickly change the color of any shape in the file that's tagged with that swatch, whether it's the stroke or the fill. So if I double click on a global swatch and check the preview checkbox, I can see that everything set to that color will now shift without me having to go through the file and select it. Let's go ahead and click cancel there. Sometimes we'll have colors in our swatches that are similar enough to one another that it might make sense just to treat them as the same, kind of like these two orange colors I have. In that case, we can merge them together into one swatch. To do a merge, 
I'll click on the color that I want to keep, then hold Command or Control on the keyboard while clicking the swatches for any other colors I'd like to convert. Since these are global swatches, my artwork will update automatically once I do the merge. So when I've got my swatches selected, I'll click the Stack menu in the upper right corner of the Swatches panel, then click Merge Swatches. Notice how I've gotten rid of the darker orange and replaced it with the lighter one. Okay, that's an overview of using the Swatches panel in Illustrator.